And tonight there is more fallout from this video showing the damage to a black teenager's car. He and his mother claimed two white men attacked the car in a Sanford neighborhood. It was a gated community because they say he was speeding and because he's black. Channel 9's Jeff Deal talked with the teen and his mother today. And Jeff, they said one of the men did have a gun. Yes, and even though it was never pointed at him, the teen said that's when he really started to feel scared. And they feel like if this driver was a white guy like me, for example, even if I was speeding through that neighborhood, it never would have escalated to a situation like this. And also they were concerned about some of the language they heard from neighbors who live in this community who were telling him to get out of the neighborhood, that he doesn't belong there, makes him think that he was treated this way because he's black. A broken window and damaged car. 16-year-old Jermaine Jones showed us the aftermath of a frightening encounter inside the gated Forest Lake community. Get out of my face. I'm not in your Get face. face. Get out of my neighborhood. This is the cell phone video he captured after he was confronted and surrounded by white neighbors while he was trying to park at his friend's house. He said one of the men, now identified as Howard Hughes, struck his car with a cone and said Donald Corsi threw a large rock through the window. And he explained the story to me, and I'm like, you mean to tell me that grown men did this to you? His mother called it scary. They believe this was a hate crime. Even though Jermaine's passenger was white, some of the language directed at him by neighbors made him feel discriminated against. Get out of this neighborhood. All right. Get out of this neighborhood. You don't belong here. The two men were arrested for charges related to the rock and the cone. We stopped at Donald Corsi's business to try to get his side of the story, but no one answered. Records indicate Hughes is a supervisor for a business that runs McDonald's franchises in Orlando. No one returned our calls from there either. No respect. This is a neighborhood where little kids play. Bring. And you come running out here like you think you're a race car driver. But he didn't think adults in that neighborhood handled it the right way. I don't think what they did was right. Um, I don't think they had the right to throw a rock through my car and damage it and also assault my friend with the coon. And Jermaine told us he doesn't know if he really even feels safe going into this neighborhood anymore. He said he had nightmares that very first night after that happened, and then last night he said he had trouble sleeping. Reporting live in Seminole County, Jeff Deal, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.